Hey fellow P6 users, it's Michael Lepage from Plan Academy and I want to tell you about version 19.12 of Primavera P6 that was just released in December. Let's get into it. So have a look at this web page. This is our latest version of P6 and you can see that we haven't had an update to the on-premise version of P6 since August 2018. So we were on 18.8 and now we're jumping to 19.12. Now, I just want to remind you that cloud users, those of you using Oracle Cloud, you get updates every month. So you'll see all these small incremental updates. But the on-premise users, we only see one update a year now. In fact, this year, Oracle made a change that they are only releasing one update per year for on-premise users, where before they had been doing two updates per year. So now every year we can look forward to an update in December. Of course, that may change, but that's where we're at right now. So 19.12 released in December 2019. Let me show you what you're going to see. Okay, to begin with, it's no surprise that there is better integration in 19.12 with existing Oracle Primavera applications, especially the web ones. That's Oracle Prime uh, and Oracle Primavera, that whole other suite of stuff that has RISC and EPPM and all of that stuff. We've got more data coming back and forth and a better integration between these big tools. But I want to focus on on-premise users. Those are guys like you that probably are using Primavera P6 in their small to medium-sized company or as a standalone scheduler. Let's talk about what you're going to see. I'm going to have to show you all of the things and some of them will apply to you, some of them will not. Okay, here we go. Integration with contract management no longer support it. So contract management has been deprecated for a good while and now they're officially saying it's no longer supported. Sorry contract management guys or expedition users if you're still out there. High level planning has been removed from Primavera P6 Professional as well. That's okay, I don't think that was a terribly popular feature but it's now gone. Let me tell you about the new things that you're gonna see. Okay, so the first thing we're going to see is check in and check out. If you're using a Microsoft SQL database, you can check in projects and check them out. That process now only happens with the XML file format, no longer with XER. So have a look. I've got a project open here, and we can go and do a file checkout and check out. There's my project. Check out to XML or check it out to a Primafair P6 Pro local database. So the checkout to XML is a new feature. Another new feature is the ability to dissolve relationships and retain the lag. So when you dissolve an activity relationship, if there is lag on that relationship, Primavera will retain that lag. Okay, here's what they say. If you choose to retain the lag, the lag from the dissolved activity's predecessor relationship will be added to that of its successor relationship and applied to the new relationship. I haven't played with it yet, but I will dig into this maybe in another video for you. But I want to show you this new option that you'll see related to this. You head to Edit, User Preferences, and you go to the Calculations tab. Down at the bottom, you will see this option to retain lag. So that's the new feature that we're talking about here. Retain lag, check it on, or check it off. There's also been new improvements to the Stored Images feature. To be honest, I had never seen this before. But if you head to the Enterprise menu and go to Stored Images, again, you may have to be on a SQL database, not an SQLite, to see some of these things. You will see the Images Manager option here. This is where you can actually upload some small images. I believe this is really meant for logos that end up on reports. Um, and now these logos are actually stored inside the database. Whereas before, when you'd print a report that was referencing a logo, P6 would try to pull it off of someone's desktop and that became a problem if that desktop wasn't available. So now we have stored images and there have been some enhancements here so that you can get those logos onto those reports. If you happen to be an administrator of Primavera P6, there's a couple new things that you want to be aware of. Number one, there's a new permission for exporting data that gives people the ability to export data to Excel and to other places. Before that permission was bundled in with the import permission, but now they've separated them out. Let's have a look. We go to the admin menu and head down to security profiles and head over to project profiles. 
Down at the very bottom, you'll see this new permission, export project data. So that allows users to export data to Excel. Now the import permissions have been separated and you'll see them on the global profiles area. So here they are, XLS, XML, and P6, XCR, and MPX. So that's something new for administrators. Also for administrators, you can now control in a more refined way what resource access users have. Let's see that feature in action. So when I head to the admin users area, there is always an option to control which resources that the user has access to. And in the past, you've only been able to select one resource in there and it would be it would give you access to that resource and everybody underneath it in the tree but now we have the ability to pick a few different tree headers so i can here i can pick trades and then i can also go down and say pick management like this and add them in there i just pull this over and so now I am providing access to this user for everybody under trades and everybody under management. In the past, you just had one field here to pick from. So now you have more options and better control as an administrator. One other little change for administrators is that the project's code character limit has been up to 60 characters. I guess that's a request from people that were complaining that 20 characters was just not cutting it. We now have 60. It seems like between version 18.8 and version 19.12, there's been a lot of enhancements to XML and what is going in and coming out of an XML file. Let me show you a couple new things related to XML. The first thing is that now the scheduling options that you set in Primavera P6 on the scheduler page, those can be saved in the XML file when you export a project and import it in. Let me see if I can show you that. So when we go File, Import, and choose XML, Primavera P6 XML, and let's go ahead and pick our XML file. When we get to the default import template here, if you edit the template, now on the project level, you will see scheduling options. So that means that the scheduling options, the settings that you have on the scheduling window are now saved in the XML file and you can choose to import them, update, or keep them as is when you import. So that's a new feature. If you're an ePPM user, there's better currency import via XML files. You can choose to import currencies that are in that XML file when you import your project in. So that's another new feature. You also now have the ability to update baselines when you import XML files as well. So if there are baseline updates inside the XML file, when you update your project, you can also pull in those updated baselines at the same time. On top of that, we also have zipped XML files as well. So when you import XML files, they can be in a zip format now as well, and it will import them in. Now lastly, let me demo this enhancement for you. This is an enhancement related to user-defined fields. We use user-defined fields extensively in Primavera P6, and they've always been a bit tricky because you, there's hard to find whether a project was using a particular user-defined field or not. But Primavera has made some changes that make it a lot easier to decide or to find out if a project is using a particular user-defined field. Let's have a look. At the bottom of my screen here, if I customize the details, you'll find a new tab called User Defined Fields. We can add it here on the Activities screen. Okay, And what we can do here is we can add and pick from our list of already created User Defined Fields. We can add them here so that we have visibility on them on each activity. So this makes it a lot easier to see which user-defined fields are set up for a project. Now, it doesn't only apply here on the activity screen, it also applies on the project screen. We can add a new tab here, user-defined fields, and we have the same feature here. It also applies to a few other screens, I believe the WBS screen as well. 
There's quite a few enhancements in version 19.12 of Primavera P6, and I'm actually happy to be able to deliver to you a list of enhancements that are going to make your life a little bit easier and finally uh, make some improvements to Primavera P6. So there you have it. That's all for me for the moment. I'll see you in the next video.